Declaration of Israel's Independence, 1948, issued at Tel Aviv on May 14, 1948. The 5th of E.R. 5708. The land of Israel is the birthplace of the Jewish people. Here, their spiritual, religious, and national identity was formed. Here, they achieved independence and created a culture of nat national and universal significance. Here, they wrote and gave the Bible to the world. Exiled from Palestine, the Jewish people re remained faithful to it in all their countries of the dispersion, never casting ceasing to pray and hope for their return and the restoration of their national freedom. Impelled by the historic association, Jews strove throughout the centuries to go back to the land of their fathers and regain their statehood. In recent decades, they returned in masses. They reclaimed the wildernesses revived their language, built cities and villages, and established a vigorous and ever-growing community with its own economic and cultural life. They sought peace, yet were not prepared to defend themselves. They brought by the blessing of progress to all inhabitants of the country. In the year 1897, the first Zionist Congress, inspired by Theodore Herzl's vision of the Jewish state, proclaimed the right of the Jewish people to national revival in their own country. This right was acknowledged by the Bell Four Declaration of November 2nd, 1917 and reaffirms by the mandate of the League of Nations, which gave explicit international recognition to the historic connections of the Jewish people with Palestine and their right to reconstitute their national home. The Nazi Holocaust, which engulfs millions of Jews in Europe, proved a new and urgency of the re-establishment of the Jewish state, which would solve the problem of Jewish homelessness by opening the gates to all Jews and lifting the Jewish people to equality in the family of nations. The survivors of the European catastrophe, as well as the Jews from all other lands, proclaiming their right to a life of dignity, freedom, and labor, and undeterred by hazards, hardships, and obstacles, have tried unceasingly to enter Palestine. In the Second World War, the Jewish people in Palestine made a full contribution in the struggle of the freedom-loving nations against the Nazi evil. The sacrifice of their soldiers and the efforts of their workers gained them title to rank with the people who founded the United Nations. On November 29, 1947, the General Assembly of the United Nations adopted a resolution for the establishment of an independent Jewish state in Palestine and called upon the inhabitants of the country to take such steps as to be necessary on their part to put the plan into effect. This recognition by the United Nations of the right of the Jewish people to establish their independent state may not be revoked. It is moreover, moreover, the self-evident right of the Jewish people to be a nation, as all other nations, in its own sovereign state. 
Accordingly, we, the members of the National Council, representing the Jewish people in Palestine and the Zionist movement of the world, met together in solemn assembly today, the day of the termination of the British mandate for Palestine by virtue of the natural and historic right of the Jewish people and of the resolution of the General Assembly of the United Nations. Hereby proclaim the establishment of the Jewish state in Palestine to be called Israel. We hereby declare that as from the termination of the mandate at midnight this night of the 14th and 15th May 1948 and until the setting up of the duly elected bodies of the state in accordance with a constitution to be drawn up by a constituent assembly not later than the first day of October 1948. The present National Council shall act as a provisional administration, shall constitute the provisional government of the State of Israel. The State of Israel will be open to the immigration of Jews from all countries of their dispersion will promote the development of the country for the benefit of all its inhabitants, will be based on the precepts of liberty, justice, and shalom, peace, taught by the Hebrew prophets, will uphold the full social and political equality of all its citizens, without distinction of race, creed, or sex, will guarantee full freedom of conscience, worship, education, and culture, will safeguard the sanctity and inviolability of the shrines and holy places of all religions, and will dedicate itself to the principles of the Charter of the United Nations. The State of Israel will be ready to cooperate with the organs and representatives of the United Nations in the implementation of the resolutions of the Assembly of November 29, 1947, and will take steps to bring about the economic union over the whole of Palestine. We appeal to the United Nations to assist the Jewish people in building of its state and to admit Israel into the family of nations. In the midst of wanton aggression, we yet call upon the Arab inhabitants of the state of Israel to return to the ways of peace, shalom and play their part in the development of the state with full and equal citizenship and due representation in its body and institutions, provisions, or permanent. We offer shalom, peace, and unity echad, to all the neighboring states and their peoples and invite them to cooperate with the independent Jewish nation for the common good of all. We call out to our Jewish people all over the world to rally to our side in the task of immigration and development and to the stand by us in the great struggle for fulfillment of the dream of generations the redemption of Israel. We trust in Almighty G.O.D. We set our hand to this declaration at the session 
of the Provincial State Council in the city of Tel Aviv on the Sabbath Eve, the 5th of Ivar, 5708, the 14th day of May, 1948.